Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, today's video, as you can tell from the title, is going to be a skincare video. I have never done skincare on my channel, mainly because I feel like I'm just not good at it. Does that make sense? Um, I'm one of those people that have seen like probably every single skincare video that has ever been uploaded on YouTube ever. And I have tried so many products and nothing has ever worked for me. My skin is super, super stubborn. Um, but I finally found some products that I really feel like are kind of doing the thing. I want to preface this video by saying I am not a skincare professional. I am not a scientist. I am just a silly little girl who makes a silly little YouTube videos in her silly little room and does a whole bunch of research. So. I wanted to share my routine um, because I am one of those people who have watched a whole bunch of videos and I've tried a whole bunch of products and nothing ever really seems to work and I feel like I'm finally getting to a place where like my skin is, is getting pretty good. Um, the stuff that I'm starting to use I feel like has been really effective and so I want to share those things just in case you're one of those people who have tried like a whole bunch of stuff and it's never worked for you either. Maybe my routine can help you a little bit. Um, also, I don't want to keep this intro too long, but I'm really proud of my routine right now because I feel like it's not too complicated. Like a lot of the routines that I've watched are super complicated and it's a bunch of steps and a bunch of tools that you need. And I'm just like, oh my goodness, I get overwhelmed really easily. But I feel like my routine is honestly really simple um, and it's been working for me. So I thought I would share it with you guys and let's just get into it. So the first thing that I do is oil cleanse. I use this turmeric ginger vanilla oil. I get it from a place called Moonlight Bath Treats. It's a local shop they also have a website so I'll see if I can find it on their website and I'll link it in the description bar below the ingredients are turmeric oil moringa oil sweet almond oil jojo jojoba oil I can never pronounce that vitamin E and essential oil but I love to double cleanse with oil I feel like I feel like it gives it like a deeper cleanse you know and definitely if I have makeup on I double cleanse with oil. I do not omit that step if I have makeup on. So a trick that I've found that gives you the illusion of really good skin, especially um, if you don't have really good skin, is shaving the baby hairs off of your face. So you've probably seen a whole bunch of TikTok videos and YouTube videos, but um, I started doing it and definitely I feel like it helps my skincare products penetrate my skin a little bit better. The razors that I use are these pink razors that I just got from Daiso and you can really just see like how the hairs are coming up and then after you use the face razors I feel like your skin just looks really good so obviously I don't do that step every day I only do it as needed okay so next I go in with my face cleanser I'm using the pure skin face cleanser from first aid beauty I really like this cleanser it's tough enough to kind of like clean your face to give you like a clean um, feeling but I didn't want to use a cleanser that was targeted towards acne because I was scared it might be a little too harsh on my face I'm already using like so many um, products that target acne specifically the last thing that I wanted to do was dry out my skin even more if you do have sensitive skin or you just want an overall gentle face cleanser I would definitely try this one out I also really like the line because none of their products have added fragrance and while doing my skincare research I've learned that you're supposed to try to stay away from um, artificial fragrances my entire routine is not fragrance free I am working on it but definitely this cleanser is really good for anybody who's looking for um, something for sensitive skin or just something with no fragrance or just a face cleanser that's really gentle next I go in with my Peter Thomas Roth max complexion pads I really like these pads I feel like they've really helped me prevent breakouts I was hesitant to buy this product at first um, when I was reading the reviews a lot of people were saying that the scent was too strong they were saying that it had too much alcohol in it um, I decided to just go against all the reviews and I bought it for myself and it really works for me but I definitely do understand what people were talking about it has like an artificial peach scent which doesn't bother me at all but if you're sensitive to scents I, I definitely think that the scent would probably be too strong for you the targeted ingredients in the max complexion pads are salicylic acid which help clear acne and prevent breakouts as well as glycolic acid which helps to chemically exfoliate I literally have my notes right here on the computer because I wanted to like share with you guys the ingredients 
in each of these products that um, I feel like are probably helping um, like clear my breakouts and like just help my skin overall. So just in case you don't use these specific products, you kind of know like what ingredients to like go for. So the complexion pads have salicylic acid and glycolic acid. And then I go in with my Sunday Riley Good Jeans. So I have the small bottle of this. I originally started trying it. Um, I got the travel size. And literally the next day my skin was doing so good. And I was like, this can't be right. Like this never happens to me, right? I've heard about Sunday Riley um, Good Jeans for as long as I can remember. But I think the full size bottle is like $85 or something. And so that's why I was like, uh, I'm cool off of them for a minute. But I did get the travel size and it worked so well for me. So I ended up getting the mini um, power duo with this and the Luna oil, which I'm going to talk about next. And it's worked. It's honestly worked really good for me. Um, I've been using it for about three weeks now. I introduced this into my routine about three weeks ago. And my skin is doing great, dude. Targeted ingredients in Good Jeans is lactic acid, which is an AHA, which is a chemical exfoliant. So we're not supposed to be using those little beads and scrubs to exfoliate our face. Instead, you want to use a chemical exfoliant, and that would be your AHAs, and that is what is in Good Jeans. Also, there is no artificial fragrance in Good Jeans, so that's really good to remember. We're trying to stay away from fragrance. After letting the Good Jeans sit on my face for maybe 10 minutes or so, I go in with my Luna oil, and I bought both of these together in the little power duo kit definitely when i run out i'm gonna buy the full size version of both of them because i feel like they're helping me like a lot so it claims to reduce the appearance of pores which i actually feel like it's kind of done for me it's a retinol which is a vitamin a derivative and it's used to treat acne and uneven skin when i was reading reviews a lot of people's um, qualms with the oil was that it came out blue and they felt like that was kind of gimmicky um, I don't feel like the little blue dye that's in it takes away from the actual product but if you're one of those people that like doesn't want any type of like dyes or anything you should probably stay away from it but it's helped my skin a lot um, the chemical exfoliant factor I definitely feel like that's been working on me. I feel like overall my skin just looks like brighter, you know? I don't use that retinol every single night, but definitely if you're going to introduce retinol or vitamin C into your skincare routine, you want to wear SPF. I'm currently wearing the Sunday Riley one. After I let my retinol sit on my face for another 10, 15 minutes or so, I go in with my moisturizer. So at first I was using kind of the oil as a moisturizer itself, and then I started doing more research, and Sunday Riley recommends that you pair it with a moisturizer moisturizer as well that makes sense so i am using another first aid beauty product it is the ultra repair firming collagen cream and with this um, moisturizer a little bit really does go a long way i love this moisturizer because i feel like it just makes my skin look super like juicy and that's probably the collagen that's in um, the moisturizer but this moisturizer's key ingredients are collagen, which helps skin texture, structure, and density. So that's kind of like where the juiciness of my skin I feel like is coming from, as well as peptides, which helps smooth skin, and niacinamide. I think I pronounced that correctly, but that helps um, the skin appear bouncy again where like the juicy is coming from what i also love about this moisturizer is it's super 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 hydrating again i'm using like a lot of acne treatment products so you definitely want to put moisture back into your skin and i definitely feel like this moisturizer really really helps i've tried the sunday riley water enzyme moisturizer because i kind of wanted to stick with the sunday riley theme and that moisturizer was not hydrating at all like it was not hydrating enough um, I felt like my skin was kind of cracking and so I switched over to this uh, collagen moisturizer from First Aid Beauty and I really, really, really love it. But overall, I'm really proud of where my skincare routine and how my skin is doing right now. Um, my skincare routine, I feel like for me personally, is one of the more like easier, non-complicated ones um, and so this is definitely something I think I can keep up. I feel like my makeup applies a lot smoother now that my skincare is getting better. In addition to this, I'm definitely like upping my water intake. Um, 
and just trying to stay hydrated overall and definitely don't forget if you incorporate a retinol into your um, skincare routine you definitely need to use an SPF you're supposed to be using SPF anyways but definitely definitely if you use I think it's vitamin C and retinol um, the one that I'm using right now is the Sunday Riley it's like not the absolute best SPF um I bought it because it was on sale and I used like so many other Sunday Riley products I thought I'd give it a try it does leave a little bit of a white cast um definitely when I'm done using it I'll probably switch to something else but that's the one that I'm using right now it's not too bad especially if I like do makeup over it um but yes this was my skincare routine it's been working for me pretty well I will definitely be posting updates on social media just so that everybody can kind of follow my skincare journey uh, my skin is super super stubborn and nothing has worked for me for a really long time so this is working for me fingers crossed um but I will definitely keep you guys updated if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on all of my other social platforms and I will see you guys in my next one bye <laughs>